I'll be telling you some general rules to answer the question paper. Your paper name is Science and Technology Part 1 and Science and Technology Part 2. Each paper will be of 40 marks each and the duration will be 2 hours. So you have to be very careful regarding some points which I am going to tell. First, in the whole answer sheet, know where you are supposed to write your name, your identity, your religion or your anything else which can tell your name in any way. You are not supposed to write anything in your question answer sheet which tells you who you are. Then every main question should start from the new page. There might be some three to four parts of the question which can be written in continuation. But any main question, that means if you have finished with all the parts of question one, go to the new page to start the question two. This is very, very important. Do not draw lines after any answer. Generally, the children have the habit of drawing lines after every answer. Do not draw. It's not necessary that you have to draw lines after any answer. Uh, make sure that there are no cancellation. You are cancelling and writing, cancelling and writing. Instead of doing that, first take two minutes, think about the answer and then write. Even then if you want to cancel, just make a one line over it. Or if you want to cancel the whole answer, just make one line and then start the answer in the next new line. Do not scribble over it, do not overwrite. This is very important for the impression of your answer sheet. Your handwriting should be readable. Be any examiner should be able to read your handwriting. So write in a very neat and tidy handwriting. After every word, keep one finger space. If you are writing the words continuously, see that between two words, one finger space difference is there. That makes your handwriting good. Now we are concerned about the diagrams which will come in the science paper. The diagrams should be neat and tidy. Use a dark pencil. Do not use a light pencil. And when you make the diagram, do not label with pen. Always label with pencil. This is very important. Try to make the diagram and all the labeling on the right side of the diagram with the arrows. This is very important. Now suppose you have drawn the heart diagram, draw under the heart diagram, write, draw a line and write over it structure of heart. So every diagram should have a name under it, what you have drawn. You will think what is there, it's given in the question paper. No, that question paper and the answer sheet goes to some other examiner and then that examiner should understand what you have drawn. All examiners know, but what you have drawn, it should be very clearly understood. Always manage your time. You have 40 marks question paper, hours are 2, that means 2 hours are given to you. Think that your answer, your question paper should be solved within 1 and a half hours. So even if I say 1 and a half hours, you can go up to quarter to 2 hours. But always keep last 15 to 20 minutes with you so that you can check each and every answer which you have done or not. Check from your question paper, make a tick mark on your question paper and then see if any question is left or not. This is very important. Time management has to be learned. And how will you manage the time? How will you learn it? You have to solve maximum question papers of last years. Keep two hours in your hand. Try to finish your question paper or the uh, science paper in 1 hour 40 minutes and keep this last 20 minutes for yourself for you to think what you don't know, what you have made, I might have made mistake. Now if you have some fill in the blank type of question, write the whole sentence and then underline the word. It is very wrong that you are only writing the answer and not writing the full sentence. This is very important related to your marking scheme. Any law, any principle it is asked, any definition it is asked, you have to write the word to word answer of the book. 
so it is very important you rely on your textbook rather than any other textbook which is not from your uh, maharashtra board so whichever textbook we are following that textbook has to be followed and write the principal law and definitions exactly from your book that means you have to learn by heart these th these things these were the some general rules which i have told now i'll be telling you about the science paper question 1 what type of questions may come i am using the word may because beyond that some other question also can come but what we have observed over the years the question 1 is of some different short answers question 2 is of different type so i'll be giving you on board the type of questions which can come in question 1 question 2 question 3 question 4 so you and question by question i'll go on explaining you what it is about i gave you general tips on how to answer the paper now i am telling going to tell you what are the general rules to follow when different type of questions are given they what we have come to the conclusion that these type of questions are generally asked in these questions question 1 question 2 question 3 question 4 so what type of questions can come we'll just discuss fill in the blanks now, as i said you cannot just write the answer you write the whole sentence and underline the word which is which has to be filled with the blank but do not use any other colored pen always use your own pen which you are using blue colored to underline it no need of using any other color correlate or analogy you will be given some questions that you have to correlate now only answer should not be written whatever word is written put a semicolon in front of it like this and then write the answer on the right side this is the correct method many children do not write the original word given that's wrong you have to write the original word put the semicolon that means the two dots like this and then write the answer in front that will be the analogy or the correlate question then there can be one to find the odd man out now you have seen the question you have found out in your mind that this is the odd man out but do write first the sentence which is given or the number of words which is given then under the next in the next line write the word first write the odd man out is you have to write such way your presentation should always be correct then when you write the odd man out is then make a dash and write the answer so this is the way you have to write true or false here also what we have observed is children directly write true or false no statement is written that's the wrong way of answering write the statement which is given in your question paper make a dash and write true or false whatever you think this is the correct way another type of question is match the columns the two columns will be given column a or column b or column 1 or column 2 now generally the left column write exactly as it is in your answer sheet and then find the answers and then write the correct answer in front do not make lines like this that do not give you marks no examiner will see where your line is going so always write the correct answer in front of your first column then name the following some sentences will be given and you have to name them there might be some specific name for that words or that sentence again write the complete sentence make a dash and and name the following do not just write the answer explain the terms now some terms will be given to you that term you have to explain in two or three lines because this question generally comes for one or two mark question so if if, if it is like that then write the word make a dash and write in two or three sentence what that term means state the unit now it is this answer may be a one mark you might be given some number and you might not be given the unit for it so you have to write the correct unit now you have to write the number along with it the answer should be your it should be carrying your answer that is the unit do not write just the unit and forget about the number no please do not do that define law principle now as i said always start your answer the law states that or the principle states that 
this is how your answer should start and definition exactly from the textbook mcq based on practicals mcq means multiple choice questions there will be some questions which will have four four choices and all these mcqs are based on the practicals which you have done in the school so these were the certain types of questions which can come in your exam as question number 1 in question 2 what we have observed is this type of questions are coming first is give reason now give reason means they need scientific reason so always do not start your answer with because if you are asked some question that this happens so you always start the answer with because it's wrong way of answering write the sentence and then write because it happens so and so so or do not start your answer with because second diagrams i have told you about diagrams diagram should be made with the dark pencil the title of the diagram should be written in the down or up anywhere with wherever you feel and the labeling should be all done on the right side in one line with the arrow mark so this is the uh, tips for drawing diagrams then another type of question which can come is correct the incorrect diagram now sometimes this question has been seen that incorrect diagram is made you are asked to correct it so you don't have to draw the incorrect one you can directly draw the direct new uh, whatever you draw corrected form of diagram you can draw short note some short notes will come for 2 marks 3 marks question and that short note when you see one short note in your question it directly start writing answer if the short note has a title that means if you are asked to write about metallurgy write metallurgy then dash and then start the short note do not just start like that without giving the title give balanced equations this is very important balanced equation when you are given a equation and you have to balance it first always try to balance with the pencil use a pencil to balance it hit and trial method which i have taught you then when you do with pencil and you are sure that now this balancing is correct then convert it with the pen overwrite with the pen pencil you can rub it later on and under the equation write the name of the reactants and name of the products positively always write the name of the reactants and name of the products third thing first i told you about balancing balance with the pencil first and then overwrite it with pen secondly write the names of the reactants and the products and thirdly write the states whether it is gaseous state solid state or liquid state these three things you have to remember then another type of question is state law i have told you about it the law states that your answer should start like this differentiate between write the differences always in the column or the column form do not write in paragraph form make two columns and then write the differences examples are not considered as difference never consider that this example i can write as difference you have to write that proper differences examples you should give but it will not be considered as a difference complete the table sometimes tabular form of question comes number of columns and rows are there some are empty some are filled up now you have to draw the whole table and write the correct answer only just do not complete the table just like that table should be drawn completely then state now so this type of questions is a multiple type of question state characteristics some characteristics can be asked so what will you start the answer with the characteristic of this are so number 1 2 3 4 like this points you will write properties merits demerits limitations advantages disadvantages so many type of questions can be formed from this type it it is generally 2 marks or 3 marks question this are the question 2 question 3 here give examples and explain one they will be asking you some particular question that question will have some examples and explain with the help of one example so this may be three mark question state laws with example sometimes only two mark question state the law comes but when you have stated the law they want the example also with it derive the law and find expression this is a physics type of question where you have derivation is asked 
and derivation has to be written step wise with number of step to be given it's very very important a objective types of question based on activities every lesson has small small activities which i have covered with in every lesson these activities are very important because there are questions which are asked on these activities they might be objective type of questions or one or two mark questions also so activities have to be covered when you are studying do not leave activities in your book and last question generally it is five mark question five mark question will have a lengthy answer which is in different different points which you have to write these are the types of question which we can you can get in science and technology paper and every question some rules i have told you follow the rules and tips and you will be doing your paper very well